you need a drink, don't you? That is what it is. Feels like a tippy boat, Grace. I don't know. Get a drink. Good. Decided to come here. One of our favorite places to camp. It's a beautiful spot right at the base of Big Spencer Mountain and Heritage Waters. There's native brook trout in here. They're not huge, but it's just it's really fun to fish. It's shallow. There's some spring springs coming in here that feed this pond. And so there's some decent trout. I've seen probably up to 12 inch trout it's a nice trout and it's just a fun place to camp i started getting sick on the seventh not feeling well felt like i had a felt like i had a hernia honestly and i kind of ignored it went on a trip with jake we paddled down the chimena cook stream made a video about that it was a fun trip but i was feeling i really wasn't feeling good came back edited that video published it and i think it was that night that I published it, I was just laying on the floor and I had abdominal pain and I had to go to the ER and that started kind of a struggle. I ended up finding out I had an infection going on in my intestines and there was an abscess and a, like a blockage basically. And I was in rough shape for a while I lost 10 pounds and I'm starting to I'm finally starting to feel better from that I'm starting to feel a lot better so this is my I was just this is what I was thinking of I was thinking of this place where I was laying there in the hospital and on IV fluids and antibiotics and stuff and I just wanted to get back here to this pond and camp out because the last the last trip I did here it was, it was really fun I did the same thing I'm doing now I didn't film any of it it was just me and Gracie uh, but it was just awesome. I wanted to just get back and and do this again and film a little bit of it. Um, so I'm just back here now. Gonna do some fishing. Make a fire later. Cook something for dinner. I have a chicken breast if I don't catch anything worth cooking. And then I got the hammock set up. And we're just gonna have a relaxing night and do some filming. This is my trout rod. It's five and a half foot, uh, three weight, and by Wildwater. I got it off of Amazon. It came with this case. It's a really quality rod and reel. Came with the line, a little fly case, um, some flies, line cutter, a bunch of stuff. I, I just I love using it. It's so much fun to catch brook trout with. And it was very inexpensive, I thought. It was about $100. Um, but I definitely recommend getting one of these. And I added it to my Amazon store. And the link is in the video description. But it's just, it's really a quality rod. And it's so much fun to fish these little ponds and streams, heritage waters. And a 12-inch brook trout on this is, feels like a five pounder and it's just it's so much fun to use this
that's not the one I missed the first time. Crazy, get up in the next tree. Okay, I'll show you if you just chill out there, dog. Hey, come on. Hang on. Hole in my net, it's not even on the other side of the net grade. Awesome. They call it a six inch brook trap, but it's so much fun with this fly rod. You can see him. Okay, we're gonna let him go. And he slipped through a hole in the net somehow. That was fun. Caught two little trout, lost a few bigger ones. Of course, that's how it goes. Saw a lot of fish just rising, some jumping out of the water. There's a small hatch of, I believe they're mayflies. I don't, they look just like mayflies, not, not hexagenous flies, but they were like white in color and they were mayfly size. Maybe they're hex, I don't know. But that's what they were going for, so I changed my fly over at the, end of the day or at the end of the evening and that's what I was getting some bites on but this is an awesome place it's getting chilly I think I'm gonna go fly the drone and start a fire and cook up something to eat
flew over a pond with a drone and I saw something swimming across. I think it was a moose swimming across. It was pretty blurry on the screen and it was as far as I could really go with the drone without losing signal. It looked like a moose. It, it could be anything, but it was definitely something moving across the pond. So I'm gonna go check it out. Well, I confirmed it was a moose. I got over there and there was a truck there. And there were three people, two people from Buffalo, New York and a guide from Greenville and they were on a moose sighting tour. They actually pulled up here this morning and then went over there, but they saw the moose that I had spotted with the drone, confirmed it was a cow and there was a calf as well. So that's cool, I'm glad they got to see a moose and I'm just having some mainly coffee, a nine mile blend of course right now, I'm going to make a breakfast sandwich we got lots to do today. We're gonna to hike the mountain. It's a good breakfast sandwich. <clears throat> I'm hungry a lot, but I'm just starting to feel better in the last few days. And I'm down 10 pounds, but eating makes me nervous since I got sick. I've been taking it really slow and trying to eat really simple things, simple diet. I don't want to have to go back to the hospital. <laughs> my first time out in a few weeks since um, getting sick and being in the hospital so I just wanted to get out I wanted to I wanted to camp in the woods I want to sleep in the hammock paddle the canoe catch a trout climb a mountain and so I'm doing all those things and it just feels really good to be back in the woods and stretching our legs again well we made it up here to the plateau the trail keeps going up to the summit. It gets kind of technical. There's ladder climbing stuff. So this is as far as we're going. Um, but this is an awesome spot. The view is to the north of the mountains. You can see Katahdin on a clear, clearer day. You can see pretty far right now. You can see Ragged Lake, Lobster Lake, the pond we stayed at, Blood Pond. And it's just an awesome spot. We used to climb all the way to the summit and Gracie could go right up the ladders, not pretty near vertical ladders, up a few cliffy sections. And at the top there's an HLZ. And then coming down, I would just hold Gracie and come down the ladder backwards. And, but it's a bit much now to be doing with Gracie. So we just wanted to come up here, get the view and show you what it's like. It's pretty awesome. I don't know how well the GoPro does it justice, but this is one of my favorite views of Mount Katahdin, looking at it from the south. It's just awesome. I'll be hiking up there maybe later this month or maybe September with Cooper and Kaylee. You can see Ragged Lake, Blood Pond where we stayed last night, Black Cap Mountain, and over here is Lobster Lake. And the trail continues up here, up to the summit. So this would be a really awesome spot to camp, hike up here. There's obviously this nice open level area to camp. There's a fire pit, there's a table. There's, we crossed on the trail back there, a cold mountain spring for good water. And over here, there is an outhouse, fire pit. And the outhouse. So what I've always wanted to do, and I haven't done yet because I've always camped down at the pond so I could fish and whatnot, but 
is camp out here and then get to the summit for a sunrise. I'll do that at some point. Mm -hmm. 